Did we go Graziella today? Yeah. Put my hair up. We're on the hunt for a few things today. We need um, comes in a kayak for his friend. We need a holster, and then um, I want to get a like vintage fishing like tackle box because here in a month it's Jace's first birthday. And so we're going to make it like he's officially one. So I want that tackle box for all of like the candy and stuff. So yeah, we'll see what we find. First find. So we stopped at Chick-fil-A to get lunch. And then we're picking up Coda's brother. And then we're going to go to Minster, Ohio. Shout out if you're from there. Um, still haven't found my tackle box. I did find a fishnet. Um, and we found a train table for Jace. It was like $3, so we couldn't pass that up. And then, yeah, I think that's all we've gotten so far. Oh, and of course, the little fish. was this but not in the way that we were talking about earlier uh, I know I had like three things that I really wanted to get unfortunately we couldn't find any of those things we did go to a garage sale that potentially would have had a tackle box which I was all super excited about um, but somebody showed up way earlier than anybody else and even before they were open and purchased all the tackle boxes so didn't get that, but I got um, a few other things that I think were really good deals, and then also something that I was going to use at Jace's birthday party. So we'll start off with the um, fish net. So I got that. This was literally a dollar. It's really quite big. So I figured I'd put um, the chips that we're going to give out in like the little bags. Um, in there and kind of make a sign that says fish and chips um, and that's how we'll kind of display them uh, so that'll be fun and then the other thing that we got was this singing fish um, he actually if you remember back in like the early 2000s they had these and they like danced and sang and like the mouth moved this one doesn't, but we thought it would be cool decorations for his party. And then also, um, Coda, he really, really loves to fish. So this will just hang in his office. Also got Jace some clothes. They were like a dollar a piece, so I can show you those. I always love a good deal, so. Okay, so we got these little shorts he's actually in like 12 months right now and then so his next size will be 18 months so these are 12 months we live in Ohio so he may get some use out of them right now it's kind of been chilly so we'll see um we got some more these are super cute um, this little shirt it says first mate and then there's nothing on the back. It's just a little onesie. We got, see these are 18 months, so he'll definitely get some use out of these. These little shorts, they have like little sharks on them. They're actually Carter's. Actually, I think all of that was Carter's, so that's actually pretty good to get for a dollar. Usually their outfits sell for like 20 bucks. Then we got this little button up. I really wish I had that for Easter even though we really didn't get to have an Easter. Um, Jace was teething and he had th three teeth on top and three teeth on the bottom coming out at the same time. So he was miserable. So he didn't get to have first Easter this year. Yep, these are little shorts, they're cute. These ones are kind of my favorite shorts because his dad has a like matching pair, so it'll be so cute. 
make those and they're 18 bucks so he'll be able to do those for a little while and then the last pair are these just little navy cargos and those are old navy these ones were cherokee but all name brands and you got each one of them for a dollar so that's a great great deal uh the last thing that we got which is pretty cool here i'll show you so we got this little train set we actually got it for three dollars but it didn't come with the tracks so I looked on amazon it looks like you can get the tracks anywhere from like 20 to 30 dollars so I'm, that's totally worth it when they're usually like 100 to 120 so that's basically everything uh, from the garage sales that we got. I um, got a package over the weekend too, uh, decorations for Jace's birthday party. So I thought maybe we could do a little unboxing of that. And then um, actually earlier today we went to Walmart and got all the candy to fill uh, his tackle shop. That's Coda's kind of little project for all the kids. They're a little uh, giveaway or what are they called? What's that? Favors? Yeah, but like the party favor um, is going to be tackle, but candy. Hey, so let's get started here. Um, I haven't actually, like I opened the Amazon box, but I haven't opened the actual decorations to see like what quality they are or anything so we'll be surprised together here is okay so I'll drop a link below what this is but it was a pack of balloons and like cupcake toppers I think there's a cake topper in here um, and a couple other things but it was only like I think $18 or something, maybe some change. So yeah, let's see what's all in here, what it looks like. Oh, this is really cute. This is the cake topper. Goodness, it just keeps closing on me. Okay, so it comes with little glue dots because I guess you have to put this together. First thing, it says happy birthday, it's a little like wood sign, and then you have these two paper straws, and then there's string fish, so you, like you'll stick the straws in a cake and then like, these hang from the straws, and then there's two little bobbers. <laughs> There you go. So those are really cute. That'll be fun. I don't know if I'm going to make the cake or if I'm going to have um, a girl that I went to high school with. She bakes cakes. Um, there's also a cake shop in the next town over that a lot of people go to. But I don't know. I, I think it would be special to make my own cake, but I don't think I'm as talented as I wish I was with cakes. Cupcakes, I can do that, that's easy, but thing. Oh my gosh, these are huge. I have no idea where I'm gonna how many Dollar Tree? I'll have to go to the Dollar Tree and blow these up with helium. But they're giant, giant fish balloons. So um in February but his little brother, he turned 14, um, and they had a birthday party for him, and their balloons blew away twice, I'm pretty sure, and they had to go get new ones, so hopefully that does not happen to us, because, oh my gosh, I can't order these from Amazon within uh, an hour. 
This one's really cute. It's the blue version. Okay, and then these. Oh boy. These are letters. And they say, um, gone fishing. So there's the F. I thought that would be really cute because everything else really says like, I'm officially one. His imitation says that. Uh, he has like, a banner that says I'm the big one, his shirt's gonna say I'm the big one, mine's gonna say like mommy of the big one. So I figured gone fishing gave us another phrase that was related to the theme. I'm not gonna show you all of these because they're they all look the same, they're just the letters are different. These are the little cupcake toppers. So this one says gone fishing, and then there's these ones. They're like little pendant flaps. Those are cute. And then the other style is just like different colored fish. Huh. These back in. You know if they don't put them back in their packaging, I will lose them. I lose everything. I'm surprised like I haven't lost my head because if it wasn't attached I lose I'd lose that too. I'm pretty sure I lost Coda's wallet like twice. One time we actually found it, but the other time we didn't and we went to like Vegas and he had like a paper ID because he just turned 21 and nobody would let him play like in the casinos. They would have to like take the paper and like validate that that was actually him because you know how on the IDs they have that like blue light card that's what they usually use. So since they didn't have that, it was a mess. We almost weren't even able to like leave the state because TSA like stopped us. It was it was a mess. So I never see his wallet anymore because it just I lose it every time. So this is a banner that I'll have to put together. And I think it says happy birthday, yeah. And it's just poppers. So that's what one of them looks like. And then you like put the fish on it. And then, oh, that's cool. It comes with like its own little threader. So it has, actually this is like, it's a needle without like a sharp edge on it. Like if you can see that. And then this is the string that it comes with. I thought it'd be cute. I might put that on like the display table. Uh, we'll see. My mom does all the decorating usually. I just buy this stuff to do it. This is cute. So it came with the string that you hang the balloon. So there's gold and blue. Those are really cute. And then there's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Oh, there's even more gold. balloons. I was going to do a balloon arch, which I might still do one. I don't know. It's a lot of work. Like we did one for my little cousin's birthday and it literally took us an hour and people were showing up and we didn't even have the balloon arch done. And it was just a very stressful time. So I'm kind of swaying not to do one, but my mom loves doing them. So we'll see. Making sure I have one of each just because I think they're so cute. Okay, so these ones they are filled with like sequins. So this one's green and then this one's blue. They look really pretty when they're blown up because the color like stretches and it's clear, not that weird color. And they're yellow. That metallic -y green, I love that one. And the metallic -y blue and the orange. So those will be really cute. Honestly, I might be able to make a little bloom display out of those. There's so many of them. And then, so 
we got a baby pool a couple weeks ago um, from Target. Uh, I can link that down below on what one I got. It was literally $10. It's so cute. But I wanted to get one so that we could play a, like a fishing game and call it Jace's Fishing Hole. And um, Amazon actually had a kitty fishing pools with like little creatures. Um, they called it the fishing game. So I bought one of those. I think it was like $15. Um, and it's so cool. I'm so excited to see that. Okay, so this is the packaging. Here's how it comes in. Now, it said it had four, like, rods with it. So I'm not sure how four rods fit in there, but we're, we're not going to see. We'll figure it out here. Okay. They have like little fish and then they also have like seaweed okay so this is what the fishing pole looks like it looks like this telescopic it pulls out that's awesome and then you have to so they don't have like a casting like a button probably because a lot of kids don't know how to do that so you have to like reel it backwards to drop the line. <laughs> Look, it even has a little one. And then once you catch a fish, then you reel it forward and it comes up. There's literally, like, between our two families, there's 30 kids. I feel like that's a lot, but I don't know. Maybe other people have more. <laughs> Cut one. The last thing I got from there, this is going to be pretty big because it's the backdrop. I lied. There's one more thing. I thought it was on the way Let's do this. Okay. 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 I forgot I got this. Okay. So these have like tissue paper tassels. And it shows you how to do it. It's make one of these garlands. Alright. So... So cute, and I'm gonna add like, um, what's that called? Oh my gosh, I can't even think of it. I know what it looks like. Um, okay. Anyways, it's like that's what it looks like. I thought that was super cute. some burlap to it. Alright, now this is the final thing that I got off of Amazon. Uh, I really don't know how much this was. I'll drop a link down below for all of them. Honestly. Easier. So here it is. to what I got tonight at Walmart. It's just the candy that we're going to put in. At first I thought I was going to do like little mini tackle boxes or like in a vintage tackle box, but since I let Coda take over the project, he's actually going to make it look like you're at a tackle shop with like the little packaging for each thing. Um, so we just got the candy today and then we're waiting for those little packages to come in. And what we'll do is we'll stuff them and then we're going to get a pegboard and get like the little hooks and then we can slide the each package on there so the kids can kind of pick out what candies they want. 
Um, and then we're gonna label them like what type of bait they are. But I, don't know. I thought it was a really cute idea. So I'm excited. It's gonna be so cute. I'll have to vlog that too. All right, so let's get into what we got from Walmart. First off, eat worms. So we got some gummy worms. I've never had the great value ones. I usually am up like either Harborough or Trolley Girl. I really like the Trolley Gummy Worms, but you don't get as much uh, in their bags. They don't, at least at Walmart, they didn't have. Okay, so we got the worms. Then after that, we got another gummy clusters. And I think Coda's idea was to use those as catfish bait. Um, he uses a lot of different things for catfish he actually has his own little recipe of like kool-aid chicken for catfish so i guess those are the closest thing that we could think of for candy form uh, then we got these little bubble gum balls oh, there's a glare i'm sorry but they are like the ones that you put in like the small machine so we figured we could use those and call them weights. That would be cute. And then we got a box of dots. And those are going to be the bobbers. And we got two bags of Swedish fish for like minnows. frogs. We really want the sharks, but they didn't have any at our Walmart, so we went with the frogs. Uh, they kind of represent, like, I don't know all the terms, but Koda always talks about, like, a top water popping frog, so I think that's what he was like, oh, frogs. And then, um, peaches. Harbro peaches. These are a lot different than what I'm used to seeing when you think of like peaches, I think of like peach rings, not the full, no hole cut out candy. So, hmm, those might be good. I might be stealing some. And then that's all we got for candy. I did go print out his invitations. Um, I was kind of bummed because I couldn't get them to print front and back. I don't know if it was just the file I had or, you know, what a, if it was just because at Walmart they are made to print photos, but I didn't really have a whole lot of time left because I mean, his birthday's in a month and I haven't even sent out invitations, so I figured I'll show you what they're going to look like. We're going to have to get crafty with it, but this is the front. So stinking cute. And then this is the back. So I put like little gift ideas up there. I don't know if you can see. And then it just says gone fishing. Totally on theme. Okay, so that was everything that we got between grad sailing and Walmart and my Amazon package. I know party planning. I am all over the place. I am out for the best deal. So if you guys have any ideas of what we could do that goes along with the theme, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time.